Of the $162,000 robbed at gunpoint, police have recovered $56,000, two pistols, one of them stolen, and small satchels of brandy. Commissioner Basson also revealed two vehicles bought from the $162,000 as part of the proceeds of the reported crime. The cars were bought a few hours after the robbery in which a Cuban businesswoman and her colleague fell victim to the armed robbers. In one car, the smell of alcohol still lingers and a half-drunk bottle of local traditional wine, Ombige, lies on the seat. The grey Corolla was the getaway car and, according to Basson, it belongs to the mother of one of the suspects. Shortly after the robbery, the car too got a facelift new tires and rims, presumably with proceeds from the robbery. According to the police, the suspect's mother has denied any knowledge of her car being used for criminal activities. Basson, however, says this specific car has been on the police radar for some time. Particularly on, on the, on the grey Corolla. If there was any suspicion on suspecting of a Corolla and, other, and all those, these different uh, crimes, and, and, and suspects, please come forth so that we can see how many people fall victim to, this, to these guys. They really terrorize us for some time, and I hope that uh, for some time we will not experience this because we expect them all to be behind bars. For those ones that are still out there, the call is either hand yourself or we'll get you wherever you are. Meanwhile, the six suspects in the Marua Mall robbery, who are said to be all young men, appeared in court yesterday and have all been denied bail. In a separate incident recently, guns went off at NetBank branch in Kadutura, where robbers got away with $1.3 million in cash. Though no arrests have been made yet, Commissioner Basson says the police have an idea of the identities of the suspected robbers. For sure. And we know some of them, they are not in, in commas in Binduk for say, we know where they are. It's a question of just locate them exactly where they are and to pick them up and, and bring them to book. So uh, the law, long arm of the law will remain long and it can only get longer and longer. There's no hiding place. They will always get to the bottom of it. Emil Seibep, NBC News, Ventuk.